Dora the Explorer and World School Day Adventure, written by Shakira Shakira. It was World School Day and Dora and Boots were very excited. Today, they would be a part of the big celebration with kids from schools all over the world. Kids everywhere are going to connect online using laptops. Dora explained to Boots, it will be a big fiesta. Vamos! And with that, they raced into the school. Inside the rainforest school, everyone was busy getting ready for the big day. There were balloons and banners and a very special guest, Shakira. I love World School Day, says Shakira. It's the day when students from all over the world make sure they have everything they need for a great school year. We'll see new schools, meet new friends, and with these new laptop, kids can log in the World School Day Fiesta and we'll sing a very special song together. Just then, Shakira's phone rang. She spoke quietly, but as her face turned from happy to concerned, Dora and Boots knew something was wrong. The school in Ethiopia is missing its laptops, Shakira told them as she hung up. If the students don't have laptops, they won't be able to join the World School Day Fiesta. Dora knew that something needed to be done and fast. We can help, she said. Maybe... We can find a way to share some of our laptops with a school in Ethiopia. Gracias, Dora, said Shakira. La Maestra Patrice, said Dora, running up to her teacher. The schools in Ethiopia don't have any laptops. Can we share some of ours with them? Of course, La Maestra Patrice replied. Sharing is a great idea. Gracias, said Dora. Let's go. With the laptops in hand, Dora and Boots boarded an aeroplane and soared up, up into the clouds. South America to Africa and landed far, far away in Ethiopia. And then they got on a bicycle and sped, sped, sped through the grassy plains. Dora and Boots looked left and right and all around but didn't see any schools. In the distance, they heard some happy whispers and giggles. I think someone's reading a story, said Boots. And it's coming from under that tree, agreed Dora. As they moved closer, Dora and Boots saw a big, beautiful tree that sat in the middle of a school. A girl waved to them. I'm Makita, she said. Welcome to the school under a tree. Wow, a school under a tree? Boots did a backflip. That's so awesome! Kids and teachers have been gathering under this tree for classes even before the school was built, Makita explained. Are those laptops? Yeah! exclaimed Dora. The students of Rainforest School want to share them with your school. Now we can all join the school day fiesta. Hooray! said the students. Dora set up her laptop and was showing the kids where she and Boots went to school when it started to beep. It was Shakira. The school in India is ready for the fiesta, but it's missing supplies. The students need 12 school kits filled with crowns, pencils, notebooks, and glue, said Shakira. Without those kits, they won't be ready for the school year. Can you help? Si podemos, said Dora, even though she wasn't sure she, where she would get the kits. Makita whispered something into her teacher's ear. As soon as the teacher nodded, yes, Makita smiled. Yay, we can share our school kits with the kids in India. Gracias, Makita, said Dora. Come on, Boots, let's go. With the school kits in hand, Dora and Boots boarded a train that chugged, chugged, chugged down the track. From Ethiopia to Asia until they arrived far, far away in India. When they got on a moped and zoom, zoom, zoom through the city. Dora and Boots searched high and low, but they didn't see the school. 
but they heard a loud beep, beep. That sounds like a bus, said Boots. Just then, a huge bus roared down the street, and a group of children started running towards it. I think we found the school, said Dora. A woman opened the bus doors and greeted them. Welcome to the School on Wheels. I'm Teacher Ravina. I have never been on a bus that looks like this, said Boots, climbing aboard. This is really a cool school. The school is a bus that can go from town to town. That way, more children can go to school, said Teacher Ravina. It was snack time when the teacher offered Dora and Boots some yummy coconut bread. Delicioso, said Dora. And we have something for you, too. School kits. Teacher Ravina was so happy to have the kids. Now the school on wheels was ready for the school year. Dora set up her laptop to show the kids where the school kids came from. The students from the school under the tree in Ethiopia want to share with you, she told them. Suddenly, Dora's computer beeped. It was Shakira. Dora, now school in Cambodia needs our help. They need 12 math books, Shakira explained. Children can't go to school without math books, said teacher Ravina. We have some extras and are happy to share. Fantastical, said Dora. Let's go. With the math books in hand, Dora and Boots climbed atop an elephant who stomp, stomp, stomp across the forest. India, too. Cambodia, and a ride far, far away in Cambodia. That must have been one fast elephant. <laughs> then they got in a canoe and paddled down, down, down the winding river. As they floated down the river, Dora and Boots looked all around, but they couldn't see a school anywhere, and they could hear the sound of soft singing in the distance. Oh, what's that, Lottie? A school in the water. Could that singing be coming from the school? Dora wondered aloud. The singing grew louder and louder until Dora and Boots were staring at a school floating on the water. From the deck and windows, children sang and waved to them. Hi, guys. With a warm smile, a boy said, Welcome to the floating school. I'm Sovon. I've never heard of a school that floats, said Boots, jumping up and down with excitement. Our school floats so we can roll with the waves if the water gets too rough, Savon explained. Wow, that's really smart, said Dora. Here are the books that the students from the school on wheels in India want to share with your school, said Dora. She set up her laptop and showed the kids where the books came from. All the kids were excited. Now they were ready for the school year. Before heading back into the rainforest, Dora checked in with Shakira. Everything's almost ready, Shakira told her, except that we don't have enough art supplies for all the kids in the rainforest school. Oh no, cried Boots, that's our school. We can help, said Sovan. We have some extra art supplies, but they're up there on the highest shelf. I'm really good at climbing, said Boots. Go, Boots, go! cheered the students. With the art supplies in hand, Dora and Boots hopped on a hot air balloon that floated up, up, up into the sky and landed far, far away in the rainforest where Shakira was waiting for them. Were you able to get the art supplies, Dora? asked Shakira. We sure did. Now all the schools are ready. Thanks to Dora, Boots, and all their new friends, everyone was able to share pictures, stories, and music, and dances from their world school day parties. And most important of all, everyone was ready for a great school year. Shakira picked up her guitar. It was time for the most special part of the day. Everyone singing a song together. USA, Cambodia, India, France, Ethiopia. How can you show the world that you care? Share, share, share. El arbol shares its branches with el ave. El mar shares its wave with el pez. El sol shares the sky with la luna. Tu ya yo 
together can share with others everything we learn. How can you show the world that you care? Share, share, share. We did it, said Dora. Lo hacemos. Added Shakira. Together, friends can always make a difference. Thanks for reading with us today, guys, on Kitchen Toys. This is Dora the Explorer in the World School Day Adventure Book. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Kids Dream Toys.